In this video, I'll show you how to sync subtitles with video using Visual Sync in Subtitle Edit. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly like this video and share it with your friends so that we can all learn together. So on this channel, I've covered an alternative method to sync subtitles with video inside Subtitle Edit, uh, but I want to show you how you can use the Visual Sync option. So I have my video and the subtitle that is out of sync. Uh, that is by a couple of seconds ETC. So the next thing we need is subtitle edit. Uh, so I'll just open it up and I can just go back to a blank file. The version I'm using is subtitle edit 3.6.0, uh, but I believe it's working with uh, uh, from version 3. Point something uh, onwards. So uh, but for following up with this process, you can just update to the latest subtitle edit. So the process is pretty simple. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up our subtitle, uh, the one that is in here. Uh, and uh, the reason why they are in the same folder and titled the same way is so that once I open the subtitle, uh, a subtitle edit will automatically detect the video. So let's go to file, open, and then I'll click on the subtitle uh, file and once I click on open, it's going to open up the video track as well. Uh, by default, it's going to load up the waveform. I'd like us to notice something. Uh, the waveform begins at this particular point. Therefore, uh, let me just uh, stop this. The waveform begins at this particular point. But when we look at uh, the caption or the subtitles, uh, they are way down here. Therefore, there are a couple of seconds we are missing uh, from this, and that is what we need to fix. So how can we do that? It's pretty simple. And all you need to do is just come up to synchronization, click on visual sync. Now, once we click on visual sync, we have uh, the options to check our video. And then there's the start scene and the end scene. And these are two windows where you'll set where you hear the first uh, dialogue that is what the, the dialogue that corresponds to the first subtitle and the end scene is the scene that corresponds to the last subtitle. So what we can do here is uh, I can just stop this so that uh, it goes to the start and I'll just put on my headphones. Uh, and then listen uh, to the dialogue and see where this first subtitle uh, needs to start. So uh, you can use these playback options down here uh, to navigate uh, to uh, whatever section that you want. Uh, I, I always prefer to use control and the arrow keys if I want to move 100 milliseconds back or forward. So let's just play. With the recent... Uh, I've had it somewhere around there so I can use control and uh, uh, the left key. I think it's somewhere there. With the recent... So it's around somewhere there. So let's say that is our start. I'll just click on this and just click on that. Uh, and my assumption is that is the start of that particular subtitle. Next up, we'll go to this particular section and uh, get the end subtitle, uh, which is thank you for watching. And uh, we can just play this. For good, for good time. Uh, I can just go back control left thank you for watching so it's uh, right about there thank you for watching just move back slightly control uh, left thank you for watching so it's about three minutes a couple of milliseconds there let's say right about there just click on this click on that and once you're satisfied with your selections, just click on sync. Sync done. Okay. Now let's see if that has changed. When we look at our subtitles, we see that they've moved uh, back to almost uh, accurate synchronization. So it's pretty simple uh, and easy to do. That is uh, visually sync your subtitles using visual sync in subtitle edit. So we've moved this and the whole subtitle file has moved and corresponded to the start scene and the end scene. 
So that's how you can easily sync subtitles using Visual Sync in Subtitle Edit. So once you're done syncing the subtitles, always remember to save your file. So that's it from me and I hope that this video has been of value to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.